Hi, I'm Catherine Randall and I'm a time tunneler. Today I'm lucky enough to be in Roanoke Island in North Carolina at the site of the first English settlements in America, founded in the late 16th century. But Roanoke Island is most famous for being the site of the mysterious Lost Colony. In 1584, Queen Elizabeth I gave Sir Walter Raleigh a royal charter granting him permission to explore and colonise the lands of the New World that weren't already claimed by another European ruler. I'm sorry to say they didn't give a second thought to the Native Americans who already lived there. In 1584, two ships sailed across to the outer banks of North Carolina on a short exploratory voyage. The explorers established good relations with a local Algonquian tribe and reported back to Raleigh that Roanoke Island was a suitable place for a settlement. The following year, another expedition was sent to Roanoke to find out more about the area and establish a base. The colonists built an earthen fort which has been reconstructed on the original site. Soon afterwards, the majority of the expedition departed, leaving behind just 107 men, mainly soldiers. Things did not go well for the colonists. They were very short of food after their supplies were lost in a storm and relations with the local Algonquian tribe deteriorated so badly that Ralph Lane, leader of the colonists, killed their chief. When Sir Francis Drake arrived on his way back from raiding Spanish ships, the colonists accepted his offer to take them back to England. The third expedition was an attempt to establish a proper colony. In July 1587, 117 colonists, including men, women and children, arrived at Roanoke under the leadership of John White in a ship similar to this reconstructed Elizabethan ship. Once again, there were misunderstandings and conflict with the Algonquians and other Native American peoples, and the colonists arrived too late to plant for a harvest that year. The one bright spot was the birth of John White's granddaughter, Virginia Dare, the first English child to be born in the New World. John White was persuaded to return to England for supplies. In the meantime, the colonists agreed to split into two groups, one venturing out onto the mainland to try and find a better site for a permanent settlement, the other remaining on Roanoke. It was also agreed that if they left the colony before White's return, they would carve their destination on a tree. John White promised to return immediately, but in the event he was not able to return for three long years. When John White finally returned in 1590, the settlement was silent. The colonists had completely disappeared. The only clue to where they might have gone were the words Croatoan carved into a post and the letters C-R-O carved in a tree. Croatoan was the name of an island further south, but White wasn't able to investigate further because a hurricane forced the ships to return to England. No evidence has ever been found that the colonists reached Croatoan Island and no one has ever found definite evidence that they moved further inland. The fate of the lost colonists is a mystery to this day. Historians have spent years trying to solve this mystery, but nobody knows what happened. So for your writing challenge this week, I'd like you to use this historical mystery as a starting point for a piece of creative writing. What do you think happened to the lost colonists? Did they go into the mainland of America? Did they perhaps try and get home to England? Did they actually go to Croatan Island? Did something weird and wonderful happen to them? Let your imagination run wild. Happy writing.